Take four! Analysis video for Archie Balls. Hopefully this time it works. No guarantees, of course. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna go, so... Um, analysis video between Archie gonna be playing Greeks, Beans gonna be playing Norse. Um, not gonna really dwell on build orders and stuff like that, because... Build orders are important, but when you're trying to improve as a player, um, there's two really essential things. Um, and that's macroing well. Um, and what that really all entails is um, continuing to make villagers is obviously a big part of that. Having good storehouse placements obviously a good part of that. Um, not missing cycles on your military structures, meaning if you have a military structure, it's always training something, is a big part of that. Those are the three biggest parts of macro um, in this game. And the other part is knowing timings and knowing how to timing push. Uh, and Greek focuses a lot on timings. Um, and knowing your timings with armory upgrades and stuff like that is... Um, pretty important so um, good storehouse here really good storehouse here right in the middle of all the hunts um, one good storehouse here see if we go with another storehouse I usually when I play Greek um, in almost every matchup with Greek especially if you have a defensive wood line I almost always go to storehouses on wood um, but it's not overly important, as long as you have a good spread here, which you do. Uh, minimalizing your drop-off time, you should be good to go. Second storehouse here on food is always good. There's really only two matchups with Greek that you can't play greedy like this. I, this four storehouse play is something that I do a lot. Um, really, as long as you're not against Celts or Babylon, you can pretty much do that every single time. Just because it's moderately safe, maps tend to be a little bigger. Um, don't really even care what this guy's doing at this point in the game. Looks like he's doing pretty much normal stuff, so... Um, so far, so good. Everything's been really good. Barracks coming at a very reasonable time. Um, and it's in a pretty good spot. I usually would try and... Um, get my barracks maybe a little bit further out front and try and get some sort of a building wall put up here. Um, having this this close to your gold mine if you're gonna make a building wall it's gonna kinda like be like this and it's gonna be kinda pushed in to your base uh, try and give yourself maybe a little more breathing room either walling between the stone mine and this train line here kind of is a good spot to have a natural wall kinda protecting your whole wood your whole gold your second hunt back here um, or maybe even over here helps protect your second gold second and third hunts um, stuff like that. So maybe just thinking about that kind of stuff a little bit more. Um, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's very minor. As long as you do everything else well, um, it should be a non-issue. Paging on 15. If you're going to make a Rex, you should always make at least a couple Spearmen. Um, which you can, you'd have the pop for and you have the resources for. So if you're going to make that Rex, definitely make a Spearmen or two. Even if it's, you know, just to, you know, you can put, be poking over here on this hunt with a couple spearmen, um, especially against lower skill players or people who you're bet better than. Um, it's a pretty good way to get a nice little advantage. Lost your scout here, that's not so good. Definitely want to avoid doing that. And here comes our tree range, so this is a good build. This is the build I usually do here as well. Um, I usually go barracks, double range, and then a barracks in this matchup. But like I said, I'm not overly worried about the about the build. Uh, once again, here you don't really have that much of a defensive like structure to your base just now. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more of a defensive structure coming up there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more rhyme reason. I guess you got a little bit of a wall here. I don't know that you ne really need a wall here, though, because, I mean, this is already straight behind your base. And it's 
pretty easy to defend. I'd like to see a wall coming up around here, which is pretty important with Greek, especially in this matchup. Um, if you start to play against really good Norse players, they'll raid the living heck out of you, and it can get pretty annoying. Good early pressure here, just as long as that doesn't drop your production. Um, so the first thing that I think is a big error, this is good, handsaw is good, pickaxe is not good this early. Um, if you canceled pickaxe, you could have your second archery range coming up right now, um, and have constant production out of both of these, which is pretty important. You're also missing cycles on your barracks, meaning you don't have anything coming out of your barracks. So this is several seconds, this is just sat completely empty. Um, you have the population room. So at the beginning of the video I kind of talked about um, not missing cycles, and you're not missing cycles here. Having one or two units queued up is always a good thing, um, but you're missing a lot of cycle time here on your uh, barracks. It's been sitting empty for several seconds, maybe even upwards of half a minute or more. Um, which is something you don't want to do if you take into consideration that each of these units take 12 seconds each to train um, and you haven't been training for say 36 seconds that's three units that you're now down that you could have potentially had um, and I mean obviously you've got enough resources to have had those units training um, and then what I was going back to saying um, is I, I don't like getting pickaxe that early just means this could be a little bit earlier um, which is always good. You want to get that mass building as much as you can. This kind of stuff is pretty risky with Greek in general. Um, if he had Cav out on the field, these would probably all be dead. Um, he doesn't. He just got up his stable now, and so it's not going to be that big of a deal because he's not going to be able to punish it. But with Greek, the this is really risky. You don't want to lose units as Greek. Um, the strength of Greek in general is big timing pushes. Um, they're not very good in small numbers. They're really good in big numbers, big fights. They've got really strong compositions, but they're really not that good in low numbers, and especially early portion of the game. I mean, you can see this, the, the, this kind of disparity in pop is not completely your fault. Yeah, you missed a couple cycles. Not that big of a deal. Um, but your units take quite a while to train, and so um, just staying back and playing defensively, keeping a good spread, making sure you don't get raided. You've got lots of exposed resource areas here um, that if you were raiding with dogs or a cab or something like that, it would be pretty tough. And you can see he's got a pretty big mass here. Once again, missing cycles on the Rax. Rax isn't training anything. That's the biggest thing that I've seen so far. Um, you've got lots of resources. You've got plenty of resources. Could be training. Um, definitely could be training. And you want to get back in your base here, because he's got a pretty good army here. Pretty scary. I'm going to be back here. Um, kind of got a little bit of a hole, like holes here. This could be a little bit tighter. But... Um, the biggest thing I've noticed is you're missing cycles on, um, especially this barracks, the barracks that you built early. You've probably down, oh, maybe 10 or 15 units. Um, training out of four military buildings like this um, should always be able to keep your keep your resources pretty low. So um, now you've got pretty good units queued up in them um, all, but. I would try in general to make sure you're not missing cycles. It's so important with Greek. It's probably with Greek um, more than any other civ. That's the single most important thing because their units take so much longer um, to train. Train. You can almost think of like training time and, and time in general as a resource for Greek, just because of how long it takes their units to train. Um, and any time you're not using that resource, it's just like not gathering gold or something. You're just not using your time resources as efficiently as you could. Composition's pretty good. Maybe a couple more spears now as you see all these raiders running around. Um, but big balls of tox in general are pretty good against Norse. Quick check on the villager population, 33 to 28, doing pretty good. Um, might lose a couple here. 
it's theoretically possible by the eight minute mark to have 32 villagers which means you know you're you're, you're a little behind you've lost a couple but I mean really in general you've been doing a pretty good job of creating villagers so it's not something I would worry about too much seems like you've got a pretty good grasp on that and once again we're just missing cycles here and all these are empty you've got lots of resources so it just looks like a kind of a multitasking thing um, not getting housed is important and just not missing cycles still look at look at these barracks you have the barracks yeah I realize your house but that just kinda comes I mean you're starting to stack a little resources here so keeping that down keeping on top of your houses and keeping these always training so 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 important at this portion in the game uh, at this far into the game 10 minute mark plus almost always going to be needing at least two villagers constantly building houses um, and when you have a, a pretty good bank of wood like this there's actually like it, it may seem a little newbie but there's nothing wrong with just dropping the rest of your houses I mean at the end of the day it's like 300 wood you're gonna need that 300 wood um, invested into houses at some point anyways might as well just drop it I mean you're starting to stock quite a few resources both of you are starting to stock resources and that's something that's really easy to do um, units in general train pretty fast in this game so I'm going to try not to um, do that. Pretty good unit control there, getting your spears back on those cav. Um, it looks like you're going to be able to mop this up. The game's pretty much over at this point. It looks like you're going to win fairly easily. Um, sitting on a pretty good bank here, too. Uh, almost 2,000 unspent resources. At this point, always want to use your wood. Wood's super easy to use. Um, you can drop houses, you can drop more production facilities, and armory at this point in the game is uh, definitely something I would advise getting. What was this? Is this a barracks? Yeah, there's a bunch of, pr there's a little production coming down, so. Um, you can, I mean, you still got a big bang. Anytime you have wood, just try and use it, unless you're specifically saving it for techs or aging or something like that, but um, that's just... <sighs> it's just resources sitting in the bank right now that could be used. I'd like to see you start gathering some stone at some point here. Um, I usually try and gather stone at the latest by 80 or 90 pop. Um, just because by the time that you get a little bit of a stone bank going with one or two villagers around the 80 or 90 pop mark, um, is when you're going to want to start mixing in the stuff that costs stone anyways. So you're going to want... Um, you're going to want an armory and getting armory upgrades or you're going to want that stone for another TC. So, um, there's a couple little things like here obviously your wood line's not overly great. Maybe try and watch that kind of stuff a little bit. Um, your gold mine's pretty good. Another gold mine here. Could be using this hunt, but... Um, um, looking at the chat, it looks like you know, um, <coughs> looks like you know one of the, um, one of the issues is floating, but I don't think necessarily the floating is the problem. I think the bigger issue, um, is just the production not always be constantly going, so, um, two big takeaways I would take away from this game is constantly be trying to be mindful of having units come out of all of your production facilities at all times, if if at all possible, um, especially when you're playing Greek, with any Civ, but especially when you're playing Greek. Um, and the second thing is, when you do get a bank, use it. I mean, if if you know if you know that you have a bank, which you do because you set it right at the end of the game, use that bank. Use that 1300 wood. Drop two or three more barracks. Drop an arm armory. Drop um, the rest of your houses. I mean, you still have three houses that you can be making. And get the wheelbarrow. Like, get all these useless TC. And well, they're not useless, but get all these TC upgrades. Get Hell, even get hunting dogs. I mean, at some point it might come in handy. Uh, you might as well use your wood, um, use your resources just in general. So that's what I would do. Um, I would try and focus on that. But in general, not too bad. Um, everything looked pretty good. Good composition, good strategy. Continue making villagers and stuff like that. So um, 
I'll post this up on YouTube, and hopefully um, you can find some use of it. So that's it.